Hello, I'm Eric Hanley, an automation specialist with ESNE, and in this video segment, we are going to go over connecting to a PanelView 800 in order to download or upload a project using Connected Component Workbench, or CCW. Before we jump into our content, ESNE offers online training through YouTube. Please like and subscribe to the ESNE TV YouTube channel for how to applications and other automation content. For all Rockwell software, downloading is taking the project from your individual PC and storing that into the end device. An upload is taking the project from an end device and bringing that onto your PC. In CCW, there is not a download button. You must go to the device dropdown, hover over the download, and select download application. This is also where you download a new screensaver or font. Once you select download application, it will launch a new validation pop-up window, which will make sure that your project is valid. If there are any issues with the project, it will notify you on this screen. You can still download a project with warnings as long as the text stating app is valid shows in the bottom left corner of the screen. After the validation completes, a connection browser will pop up if you have not established a path for the project to download to the HMI. Once the path is selected, if the panel view has an application already running, it will ask if you want to stop the existing one from running in order to download. After you select yes and the download completes, another pop-up will appear stating that the application downloaded successfully. Would you like to unload the current one and start the new one? If you select yes, then it will start the new application on the panel view. If you select no, the application will still be transferred to the panel view, but you will need to start the application from the panel view 800 itself. Uploading is slightly different than downloading because it can be done in two different ways. You can select discover from the initial CCW page, which is the preferred method when you do not have the project file on your PC. This method will browse for the equipment and create a new project for you. If you already have a project, but want to ensure that you have the latest copy of the HMI before making any change, you can open the project, select the device dropdown, and press upload. After you press upload, it will launch a pop-up that shows all applications that are currently installed on the hardware and will ask you which one you want to upload. You highlight it and select OK. Then it will verify that you want to upload and overwrite the current project contents. As always, thanks for watching and if you have any questions, please contact your local ESNE account manager or automation specialist.